Hello again, everybody. I am Jeff. Jeff opens cards. Today I wanted to have a little bit of a story time. Uh, basically my journey up to this point uh, in Web3, crypto, NFTs. Basically what led to me being what many refer to as a whale within Splinterlands. Uh, as some I've kind of explained in comments, I think, before and or possibly uh, when I appeared with uh, Gank Walking Keys once, twice. Uh, so I figured I'd put it in an official form once and for all just to uh, put it out there. Um, but anyways, uh, my introduction basically to NFTs was NBA Top Shot. Uh, I was scrolling Twitter mid-January 2021 and I saw a promoted tweet for NBA Top Shot. So, uh, huh, that sounds kind of interesting. Checked it out. At that time, uh, packs were readily available. Uh, it was just before things went crazy on there. Um, so I went in, bought 10 packs. I believe they were $9 per pack. So I dropped $90, opened my 10 packs. Got a rookie LaMelo ball, which at the time I think was worth like $200. I was like, oh, well, that's pretty good. Bought 10 more packs. Pulled two LeBron James. I think a Kevin Durant. Being a couple other good things. Um, basically, I was hooked. Uh, very quickly, I threw a lot of money at it. Uh, a lot. Uh, I guess no point in really hiding it. It's, it's all on the blockchain. It's probably a way to find it anyway. Uh, so from, let's see, January 17th, 2021, 20, that was my first purchase. It was $105.57. It must have been credit card fees or something. I forget what. Um, but I think it was 10 packs. That's actually a pretty high fee. I didn't realize that. Anyways, so I spent one hundred five fifty seven twice, and then I spent three sixteen oh nine that same day. So I must have bought another 30 packs. So I bought 50 packs my first day on the platform. One day later, spent $1,579, $1,579. So that was, you know, a lot more packs. Uh, one day later, $3,158. One day later, $1,579 again, and $1,052. Two days after that, $2,500 and $2,100. Two days after that, $2,500. A day after that, $5,000. And then $2,500 the same day. The next day, $5,000. Two days later, 5,000. The same day, 5,000. Three days later, 500. Uh, all in all, uh, by the time we reached uh, March 19th, uh, I threw $100,000 at it. Now, at first, that sounds petrifying, and now it kind of is. Um, most, well, like half of that was up through January 31st to February 6th. So I had 50,000 in. And things mooned like crazy. And according to certain websites and stuff, my account portfolio on there was worth an estimated $600,000. I was literally Googling how much islands cost. Because I was just like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. This is just going to keep going. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. I was stupid. Um, and then the first time I pulled back, I was like, oh, well, you got to buy the dip. So I was still up a ton. And then over the course of... Looks like February 25th through March 19th, I did 5,000 again and again and again to double it to 100,000. Um, and not that that long after that, that 100,000 portfolio, well, the 100,000 investment that was 600,000 when it was $50,000 investment was down to like 50,000. Um, just recently, I was able to withdraw a dapper balance. That's the platform that they're on um, of like 13,000. So I've got it on the sidelines waiting to figure out what I want to do with that. So... Might make some kind of splashy-ish move uh, somewhere in Splinterlands in some way, shape, or form soon. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah, currently my portfolio on there is not great. Let me pause and look it up quick. Okay, sorry for the sudden screen change here. Uh, but currently my portfolio value is about $20,000. And again, I took about 13000 of balance out. Uh, so basically my 100000 33000 now. Plus, I do have packs on there still, like 300 plus packs of at least $9 each. Um, original cost, what they're worth now is, who knows, because they still don't have the ability to sell packs on the platform. NFL All Day launched that a few months ago, but NBA Top Shot, as far as I know, you still cannot sell uh, unopened packs on their platform. And I think they made a thing long ago because some people were selling packs on eBay, and they basically said you can't do that. But it's like, well, it's they're NFTs, they're ours and you don't let us on your platform so like what do you expect kind of thing but uh so i'm, I'm still hoping that eventually i can actually sell my seal packs because i'm guessing they'll be worth more sealed than opened uh but it is what it is um so 
this doesn't go back all the way. This this starts in April uh, of 2021. And like I said, uh, sites like this, uh, similar to this one, said my portfolio was worth $600,000 uh, sometime within February. And then things dropped off fast. So you just see early April, it hit, was 200000 got down to about 73000 two months later. Uh, did get back up to 165 October 2021. And then the bottom of 92, got back to 130, and then pretty much all down. 50, got back to 70s, and then just down, 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 down. Looks like it's actually doing decent lately. Here's the last three months. So it bottomed in May at 17,000, and now it's up to 20. Like percent wise, 17 to 20, that's not bad. Um, I've paid basically no attention to anything that happened on Top Shot for a while now, so. I don't know if anything happened to like make stuff truck up and other different things that uh, cause burning of moments and stuff like that, which is what they call their NFTs moments, if you don't know. But um, but regardless of what does happen over time with Top Shot, I'm, I'm okay with it because it's one of the steps that ultimately got me into Splinterlands, which will continue here. So um, while I'm kind of going to be back and forth on timeline a bit here, but um, so with that, let me get back my spreadsheet open here. Yeah, where'd it go? Oh, I changed tabs. Okay. So, again, so all those purchases on Top Shot was January 17th through March 19th, but uh, the initial surge was the back half of January. Um, and then I got, you know, overly giddy because things, values went cuckoo, gaga, and I thought it was sustainable. I was like, oh, this is going to be the, the Amazon of NFTs and... Maybe someday, maybe, but doesn't look great right now. Uh, but anyways, uh, the next thing that I was led to while in Top Shot, possibly saw it via the Top Shot Discord or some other related Discord, uh, was the blockchain wax uh, because there is a Street Fighter NFT drop coming out, and that was one that you get get with credit card. Um, I, I was basically, I feel like I still am like a crypto noob, where it's like, oh, I want to do this, but how do I do this? Because I don't have like crypto, ABC, whatever readily available. So anytime I could get involved in this stuff with the use of a credit card, the view really appealing to me. Top shot, I went got got, got crazy. All the purchases were via credit card or PayPal or both. Um, and then the Street Fighter NFT drop, uh, that happened on February 19th, 2021. So a month and two days after I got a top shot. And that was also available with credit card. And I... Spent, looks like, $1,039.79 after whatever fees, taxes, whatever, five times. I think that was for, I said there were $50 a pack, so about 20 packs, five times, something like that, pre packs. I don't remember. Uh, and then seven days later, there was some Garage Pail Kid drops. I did $104 on that twice. Um, and that was the main bulk of it. Um, all time in wax. What does this add up to? I have a different sum here. Sum, we want that to be from till 27. And you can't see the spreadsheet. Uh, so just under $12,000 uh, went into the WAX blockchain. Uh, all within the year of 2021. Um, pretty much all from February 19th through April 3rd. Uh, well, then the MLB drop April 20th was 1100 And NFT draft, uh, an NFL that wasn't licensed one, uh, July 11th, 2021 for 1100 And then 9350 for Big Boy Funko, August 31st, and $5 to get my physical Funko uh, that I got from a TMT stuff that I bought uh, shipped uh, December 31st, 2021. So all within 2021, which is all relevant because it's, it's all in the split lines. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Um, so uh, while there was no credit card drops within there, oh, there's also a bunch for Godzilla, which I don't think that went too well for me, but it was... I think I only bought the like the Nimoy, Leonard Nimoy and the Godzilla drops because it was a way for me to get the easiest way I had to get fiat into these platforms. Um, it, was, it was the quick quickest best way that I knew how. Um, probably not the best way, but it's what I did. Um, basically, I, like I bought the Godzilla pack, so I went to then sell them right away for wax, like to get the US dollar value I put into it. Hopefully, like just sell it right away for break even, not a not a win, not a loss, just. Just try to convert fiat into actual wax, but not actual wax, the token wax, but 
you get it, you get it. Um, but anyways, that, that's all relevant because not too long after that, the Street Fighter and Garbage Pail Kids drop uh, is when Splinterlands did a bridge with Wax. And that is the first time I had heard the word Splinterlands is I was on Wax and I saw that Splinterlands was going to have a land drop and stuff on there, certain discounts uh, for their first uh, foyer into Wax and all that. So that's when uh, Splinterlands first got on my radar, which was in March of 2021. Um, ultimately, I did buy the spell book, I think basically right away, on March 6th, 2021, and I can uh, prove it here. It says battling since March 2021. Doesn't have the exact date, but um, you know, you, you you can assume that I've, I've got my dates correct. Just 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 do it. Just do it. Why not? Why does there audio now? I'm just gonna mute that. Um, okay. So I joined Splans March 6th. Um, I did not buy any land during the wax sale though, because upon my research, it looked like there was a, some decent growth of player base, uh, when COVID was newer. Uh, this was about a year after that though. And it looked like things had stagnated. So it's like, well, it's not really growing. So I'm going to hold off for now. I, I made the decision like I'm going to want land, uh, mainly because the way it was marketed and such then was basically you get land and ultimately you can farm resources or whatever to create new cards. Um, IRL, I own a local game store. So that specializes in trading card games. So the premise of basically being what I saw as a card manufacturer within the game was very appealing to me. So that's what drew me to land was like, oh, if I buy land and like a good amount of it, I can be a, like a major card manufacturer in the game. That sounds really cool. <laughs> now land's going to be much more than that it seems, but that, that, that is the main thing that drew me to land uh, two years and three, four months ago. Um, so yeah. Uh, but anyways, so like I said, I bought the spell book and other than that, I, I started off free to play, completely free to play. Uh, over a month went by without me putting another penny, dime, nickel, anything in a Spurlands in any shape or form. Um, and back then you would get like, I think I was getting like one chest per day if I did the daily focus of, you know, five wins with a certain splinter or whatever it was way back then. Um, so everyone that always like moans about reward changes nowadays, like I used to get like one chest and I would get like one potion or like a decimal of a DEC or something like that. So like now even in bronze and you can get several chests a day and it seems kind of cool. And if you get a single potion or a silver SPS and those like you're getting multiple chances and all that. So, but anyways, I, I digress. Um, but I was getting discouraged because I would open that one chest and I wouldn't get a card most of the time. And for me to be able to get into higher leagues, like I was in bronze three, it's like, well, if I get a bronze two, I need X amount of collection power and I get collection power from getting cards. So every time I buy a chest, it's not a card. I'm not getting collection power. I'm not getting closer to the next tier of bronze two. So that was discouraging for me. Uh, I was like, do I want to throw money at it or do I just want to keep grinding or I just want to not do it? I don't know. Uh, but ultimately then, um, I joined a, basically, I think it was literally called like a noob tournament of some kind, uh, that was created, hosted, whatever you want to say, by Maria not Amelia. I, sorry for butcher the name, I've never known how to pronounce it for sure, uh, but 99.9% .9 sure that the tournament was run, hosted, whatever, by, uh, this user who's been in the game for a long time, uh, since August 2018. And then from that battle, from the tournament event, um, which I think was Novice League, so, and probably no legendaries, maybe no epics. So basically like, everyone's on equal footing. Um, I did well enough that I got an untamed pack, which was, you know, less than $2 back then. Open the pack. I got a gold epic Phyrexian general, 10,000 collection power. And that instantly unlocked, uh, what me to like bronze one or silver three or something. And that let me get further. Let me, I think, get a couple more chests per day and basically helped me find a new, larger love appreciation of the game itself. And then I started throwing money at it. So, like, if you want to go through butterfly effect kind of thing, if I don't find the promote tree of Top Shot, if I don't get into Wax uh, via the Street Fighter NFT drop of all things, if Splinterlands does not whack, 
does not wax. This one does not bridge with wax. If I do not enter that tournament by Maria, not Amelia, and get an untamed pack, and pull a gold epic in the pack, I, I may not have gone much, if any, further. It, it, that's all very possible. I might not be in Spillands at all today. It's very possible. So, butterfly effect. If any one of those things does not happen, I may not be in this position that I currently am. But there's still more to go over. This is longer than I intended to be, but oh well. Um, so, my first purchase, besides the spellbook then, spellbook was March 6, 2021. My next purchase was April 12, 2021. I spent 868, 100, and 200. I think it was just on credits. Um, I don't have that detail, uh, but I've got that written down. And then April 19th, I bought $1,350 worth of DEC from another user. And the next day, another $120 DEC from another user. I believe one of those was Chance the Guy. I have actual names or whatever document on here, but I don't want to dox anybody uh, inadvertently or anything either. So I'm not going to say the names I've written down, but I know one of the two was Chance the Guy. Uh, so shout out to them for helping me uh, get more currency, whatever, in Splendorans to do more things. Um, and I didn't put any other fiat in until July of 2022, actually. But let's, let's back up for a second here. So again, April 20th, 2021. So I was 120. So at that point, I had put in $2,648 into Splinterlands. Now, around this time as well, um, March, April, on Wax, I had started playing Our Planet. Uh, Our Planet was a game in which you, everyone's trying to invent elements, and then you would combine elements to create higher elements. And if you had the first 500 created, you would get an FT that would be of a surprise rarity and would give you a certain production level of their currency Aether. Um, I did very well in that game. Very well. That that was my major silver line within Wax for a limited time at least. Um, I'll try to remember putting the iCards. Maybe not right this instant, but they'll probably be up there to click on. Um, one of the biggest highlights I have, it's a video I posted on a Throwback Thursday kind of thing a few weeks ago, where, spoiler alert, I got Legendary Gold, which at the time... I think produced like possibly six figures US dollar value wise of annual Aether production based on the value of Aether and Wax at that moment in time. And at the peak, peak of me for our planet, my annual Aether production based on the value of Aether and Wax at a certain moment in time was just over $1 million. That's how crazy I got. Um, but I knew... New, 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 without a shadow of a doubt, that that was unsustainable, especially after what I did with uh, Top Shot. I knew I was not going to get a million dollars of value out of that game over the course of the following 365 days. Impossible, I figured. A and it was. I was right. Um, so I was constantly, constantly selling Aether, taking profits, uh, con so converting Aether into wax. And then ultimately, so I'm also playing Spillance during all this time. And then I see, like, okay, I, I know I want land. I'm keeping an eye on land. Some are selling, some are selling, you know. We get into June of 2021, and then things are starting to go crazy for sellouts. Um, so I realize, like, oh, crap. There are now only 1,500 plots left. This was, I believe, June 9th, June 10th, something like that. I think I have a tab for that. Um, I have a lot of tabs, a lot of spreadsheets. Farmer's World, ugh. p and Um, so let's see. So I was, I was tracking things. So let's see. On April 9th, at 3 p.m., there were 52,768 land plots left. April 15th, at 1 a.m., there was 49,003 land plots left. Uh, May 2nd, 2021, at 10.36 p.m., there was 39,558 land plots left. And that kind of stopped tracking, looks like. And also at that time, there, for May 2nd, 2021, there was 173,000 Osmeri dice packs left and 324,323 untamed packs left. Um, but I believe it looks like it was on June 9th. Yes. So on June 9th, I, I look and there is about 1,500 land plots left on Spinal Lands. It's like, oh crap, I gotta buy now or I'm not gonna have my land. Uh, 
I had a nice, very nice, lovely nest egg of wax, thanks to my Aether production. Uh, I was basically printing money with our planet from like April through June-ish of 2021. So on June 9th, 2021, I converted 99,515.4052 wax into 91,000 credits on Sprillance. Uh, this gave me enough uh, total uh, credits or DC or whatever uh, to buy a land region. So, I, as I said earlier, I had, what, $15,000 in wax that I put in fiat-wise in total. Um, and on June 9th, 2021, I took a lot of wax that I got from our plant and I bought a $15,000 land region with it, which is worth more now. It's, it's down from its peak by quite a bit, but it's still worth a lot more than $15,000. Um, and then the very, very next day, Untamed Packs were flying off the shelves. Uh, so, sorry, backtrack for a second. So I said land, there was like 1,500 plots left. I bought a land region, it's 1,000 plots. That means I should have gotten the last possible land region available. Because after I bought, there was under 500 plots left, which is less than a region. So uh, there's a few tracks available after my purchase, but uh, I bought my region the day that land sold out and I got the last possible region. Um, and then I sold out in, I have written down, sold out 6921 in AM. <laughs> kind of vague, but good enough. So I probably purchased like 9, 10 a.m. and it sold out, you know, an hour or two later probably. Um, so then the very next day, June 10th, 2021, uh, looks like I converted another 6,517.2338 wax uh, into 12,252.5 credits. Uh, I then bought 500 untamed packs, which came with 75 bonus packs. And I believe I did that six times or something like that. Um... Not sure the exact breakdown. I don't have that proper on there, but uh, I ended up with 3,000, sorry, let's see. Yeah, 3,000 untamed packs with, I believe, 400 bonus packs. 70, 450, yeah. So I think I did the 500 six times. I don't remember if they had a 2,000 pack discount at the time because currently the max discount is you buy 2,000 packs, you get 400 free or you have to vouch or whatever for like Chaos Legion Rift Watchers when they're available. Um, but basically, ultimately, I used my Aether Profits from our planet on Wax to get credits that got me my land region. And I think ultimately my 3,000 uh, plus like 450 bonus packs of Untamed. So I, 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 like I always say that as long as Spoolands doesn't tank too bad, like it's down a lot from the pies, but like, based on my purchase price of those two things in particular, like that that's how I like inadvertently accidentally became a whale in this game. Um, was that I like, I it wasn't a small amount of money in the end. Um, 3,000 untamed packs would have been $6,000 plus the free bonus packs. Um, 15,000 for land. So that's $21,000 worth of wax I converted into the game. But that came from a $15,000 total investment in wax but still our stuff on whack. So in a way it was free, but not really. Um, but so that, that that's the primary non-fiat that I put into Splinterlands uh, up to now. Um, so if you want to include that in my total investment, you can. Uh, that, again, was about $21,000. Uh, go back to my other spreadsheet here. So that would mean at that point, because it was 2,648 before that, so that would put me up to 23,648 if you include that uh, as fiat. And then I was just, I was good for a while. Um, I was probably selling cards here and there and like just reinvesting. I never, I still at this point have never pulled anything out of the Splendid ecosystem in any way, shape, or form other than like selling stuff on Hive Engine for Swap Hive and then using that to buy things in like Rising Star or Golem Overlord or Splinter Forge, other stuff in the ecosystem of, of Hive. Nothing that I've gotten from Splitlands has left the overall Hive ecosystem, at least, um, up through now, still. Um, and then I didn't put anything additional into Splitlands until July 12th, 2022. And then I started regularly doing $1,000 purchases of credits uh, via PayPal, credit card, whatever. Um, I did that 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 times from July 12th through September 10th, um, which brought my total investment to 18648 plus all the wax I brought in. Um, so at that point, like, as far as how much uh, fiat or how much uh, dry powder, there we go, how much dry powder I put in the game, I wouldn't say I was a whale. I'm still bigger than the vast majority, I'm sure. And that still sounds like a ton too many people, I'm sure. I'm not trying to downplay that. Uh, but, like, if you look at things, like, on Ethereum and OpenSea, like, board apes and stuff, like, I mean, only how many people own a board ape. And the floor on those is very high. But even if you own one board ape, you're not a whale. But one board ape is worth more than what my investment was at that point. Um, but then... Then, then, then I went like overboard. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. The verdict's out. <laughs> uh, the the jury is still out. The verdict is not yet in. We'll see how things pan out over the months, years to come. Uh, but then in mid October, I uh, went to Splinterfest, and they announced the uh, bulk buys, discount sales they were doing, and I did the max one for Chaos Legion, one hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> so, I, so instantly I went from less than nineteen thousand of dry powder fiat in the game to $118,640 in the game. Uh, that got me, I think it was 48,000 Castage packs, 4,000 Nightmare packs, uh, potions to cover all the packs. Um, I forget if there's something else on there or not. I've got it in one of the searches. I'm going to try that right now, though. Um, and then mid-December, they had their winter sale bulk buy stuff, and I did the silver tier for GLS, $25,000 there. Uh, so I include that because it's, you know, it's still in this blends ecosystem. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, f to figure out, like, my total investment in Spurlands, generally, I take everything I've put into Spurlands, fiat-wise, plus GLS, um, plus Wax, since me moving Wax into Spurlands got me my biggest, most important purchases ever as far as, you know, growth and stuff. Uh, as untamed packs are worth a lot more than $2 each, even though they're down a lot from the peaks. Land is worth a lot more than $15 per plot, even though we're down a lot from the peaks. So uh, those are like the two purchases that if I didn't make those, I things would look very different for me. Maybe I would have put more in, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but in total, 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 all that, $155,545.70. That doesn't include my top shot. Um, I also did so rare. I still do so rare. Um... All that was from March 1st, 2021 through March 18th, 2021. Uh, but yeah, that that's basically how we got to where we are now. So this is going on longer than I intended. I thought it would be like a 10-minute video, but I ramble. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, so yeah, TLDR, found a promoted tweet for Top Shot, which is my, my gateway into uh, NFTs, Web3, whatever you want to phrase it as. Uh, from there, I found Street Fighter on Wax, and since I was on Wax and Splinterlands Bridge with Wax a month later, that got me to know about Splinterlands. Uh, I got deeper in Splinterlands after I won an Untamed Pack from a Turrent by Maria, whoops, and Amelia. I uh, got the Gold Epic in there, which unlocked a couple of tiers for me uh, to starting the game that much more seriously and kind of open the floodgates. And ultimately, in June of 2021, being able to convert a lot of wax from selling a lot of aether from doing really well on our planet to buy my land region and 3,000 plus 450 bonus untamed packs uh, really set me up for success in Spurlands. So if you have any questions, if you want me to go over anything in more detail or anything, let me know. There's more I could do, but uh, yeah. If you want to think of it as butterfly effect, anything I just said doesn't happen, I may not be here in Spurlands at all. Maybe I never hear of Spurlands. Um, at least if, uh, not for the promote tree of Top Shot and for finding a, a, about Wax and the Street Fighter NFT drop. Uh, those are the two main, main things, uh, cause that's what got me to know that Splines existed, but it takes, uh, takes a lot of small, insequential happenings to get to certain points in your life, uh, with different things. So when you think about different things in your life, that have to be Splines related, it's like, oh, how did this happen? Oh, well, this and this and this led me to that. And it kind of can blow your mind. So, whether it's how you met your significant other, uh, for instance, that.
that that could be a good butterfly effect thing to like really break down just to like blow your mind. But I'm really rambling now. So I thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Rock smash the like button. And uh, I'll see you next time. Whenever and wherever that may be.